Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is Friday. It is the last day of May. We're moving right into June, and summer will be starting in three weeks. God, can you believe we've gone through almost six months of the year already, and it's not even done, but it seems like the days are just flying by. I'm going to address a few things that a few of you guys have now commented on. Um, I had one viewer that uh, commented on putting milk or eggs in my scrambled eggs. And I'll tell you why I don't do that. And that's because when I grew up, I liked to see the whites of the egg, egg in my scrambled eggs. And the reason I don't put milk or water to fluff them up is I don't scramble them first until they're established in the pan. And it's very tricky to add water or milk to the eggs once they're in the fry pan. Usually that step is only done if you're going to break them in and whisk them in a bowl. And I prefer, like I said, to have the egg, uh, whites in my eggs. So I don't do that with my scrambled eggs. Now I do do that for when I make French toast and I would do that if I was making an omelet or something. So that definitely can be, be done. I had another viewer that commented on eating more plant-based materials versus um, the bacon and the sausage that my husband had have been eating and I want to address that one because there's a lot of misconceptions about foods and I don't want people to get misaligned. Now, you have seen me make bacon and sausage for my husband. I don't want you guys first off to get under the misconception that that's all he eats every day of the week. That is not true. I only make bacon and sausage for my husband about maybe one to two times a week. Just like he does not eat French toast every morning. Um, as much as he would like to, he d just doesn't because I don't make it for him. He does eat a nutritious breakfast usually every morning. And usually every morning it's either toast with scrambled eggs with maybe some side meat or French toast with some side meat or on the days that I don't make meat, he'll have just the French toast or he'll have just the eggs and, and toast. So he does not eat meat constantly. I've also changed his diet up considerably since the stroke and I am doing less and less beef, um, red meats. I'm doing more and more poultry uh, pork, and I'm starting to incorporate some seafood into the mix so that Bob is, is eating more leaner meats. Now, you might be wondering why I don't put him on a plant-based meal. And for those of you that are new that have not actually gotten to get to know my husband, my husband is in his 70s. And my husband has his likes, as do I. I'm in my 50s now. And it's very hard for somebody of his generation to go into a totally different take on what they eat. Now, my husband does, there are certain things my husband loves. There are certain things my husband does not love. If I switched him all to a plant-based option, my husband would not eat. He, he would rather starve than eat that. So, And that's not good to do to somebody that has had a significant life event. Don't get under the assumption if a person, if your loved one has had a stroke or a heart attack or a serious medical um event and that has come up always talk to their health care providers because usually they're the ones that will start you 
on a better, new, more nutritious or healthier lifestyle so that they don't get another heart attack or another stroke or stuff. Now, like I said, I have made changes to my the way my husband and I both eat. And they're subtle. I did not go to an extreme thing and take everything away from him because even my husband's doctors have said, you know, moderation is, is key ingredients. If my husband wants a steak once in a while, that's not going to kill him. What will kill him is if he was eating steak every single night of the week, which, by the way, my husband doesn't. We have steak maybe once a month now. So, I have not wiped out all of the bad things for him. I've just learned how to substitute some of them and to expand so that he's not eating them as often as he thinks he's eating them, if that makes sense. And you want to make sure, like I said, for your loved ones, always check with their health care providers because they will be the ones that will make the suggestions and how to implement meant that because it's very, very, very tricky for someone to change on, on a dime. It's, it's incredibly uh, tricky. And a lot of times what happens is if you force the person into eating a way that you think that needs to be eaten or have expressed your opinion, that might not be good for them. And in the, mi in the end, both of you are going to be miserable because that person is not going to be happy with what he's eating. And you're going to get the brunt of their fury and to save a lot of steps. So... Always, when it comes to changing somebody's diet, always talk to the healthcare providers first and make sure it's their healthcare provider because your healthcare provider and their healthcare provider may not be on the same links because patients that are recovering from significant life-altering events do need different nutritious meals. Now, there are good, some really, really good healthy substitutes. Um, my husband used to love to eat Frosted Flakes. He liked, um, he wasn't a huge sweet, sweet cereal eater, but I changed his Frosted Flakes to Cheerios and I did the no cholesterol. So that actually did start to lower his cholesterol and his doctor even said to me, he goes, whatever you're doing, he's like, I'm lowering his blood pressure, and I, I said, well, that's probably all the pills that he's on, and he's like, well, no, his diet also helps. So there are things that you can subtly do to make the situation a little bit better so that you're not having issues. So again, always talk to their healthcare providers. Now, we're going to continue our, our stroke series, and... I'm going to close out this video and start the stroke series because I do have an update on what's going on with my husband and his stroke care team. I'm also going to make an announcement. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel video or stroke care uh, video.